All right. Where am I going? Up. Oh, what was that noise? A Fomori Cyclops turret scanned the quiet waters of the ruins. A solemn Oop. reminder of an ancient conflict. A Fomori Cyclops turret scanned the quiet waters of the ruins. A solemn reminder of an ancient conflict. Where your head at, sir? What is this? Necklace. Whoop. Marin had discovered an old diving suit. She put it on, and in her pocket of the suit, she found a striped seashell tied to a string. It looked just like the one her father kept above the fireplace. She tied the string around her neck, hoping the shell would bring her luck. All right. Exit the submarine. What? L1. Marin held her breath <gasps> and dove out through the submarine's hatch. She noticed bubbles coming out of the shell around her neck. Putting it to her mouth, she gently breathed in and felt the air fill her cheeks. Were these the same shells that were once used by ancient explorers? Come on. Wait, what is this? It's weird how it gave me the red, uh, but I can't interact with it. I guess I'm going to later be able to. All right, wait for it. zip a doo Hold L1 to return to the sub from anywhere. Really? Oh, that's awesome. Good to know. Oh, you know what? So is she gonna... There we go. Wait a second. She has to go swimming now. All right, there's the head. She won't grab onto it. Do I have to do the head myself? That's weird. I thought I was going to have to pull that handle. There's no way I can bring that head up there, is there? Oh, wow, there is. Look at that. Wow, you guys. Excuse me. There we go. Now, what did that do? Was that just to get the diving suit? Yeah, I got to go. Got to get out of here now. Where's this scanner be lightly at? Ow! All right. Ooh, look at this. Treasure. I'll take it. Yes, players. Marin found another fragment of a Fomori Sentinel. Each new piece would help her further strengthen her own vessel. I couldn't get to the other one. When it zooms in like that, I get really nervous. And then I get nervous when it pulls back out again. Okay, 
I've done that already, right? Where am I going? Straight over. You need a head. Do you need a head? Or can or am I fine? Treasure in there. How do I get there? Like this. Come on, I'm tiny. Let me in. Ah. As she searched the ruins, Marin felt a pang of sadness. Was Kara the only marrow left? Let's see, which way do I want to go? Let's go down to the diamond. There we are. Oh, you guys don't seem fun. Sorry. They are waiting on me. Hey. Look, at, look we're the same. As Marin approached, Kara slowly lifted her head. She looked pale and weak. With a gentle wave of her hand, she showed Merrin a shimmering image of a tall tower beneath the sea. Kara spoke softly, and there was a touch of pain in her voice. This is the deep light. It was built long, long ago, and now lies dormant. If you awaken the tower, it will show you the way to find your father. She leaned closer and whispered the secret of how to awaken the deep light. Marin thanked her and said goodbye. She would find some way to repay Kara's kindness once she had found her father. Thank you. Goodbye. Can I just live as a diver? Pretty unprotected, though. The resonance orbs that once powered the deep light had been scattered across the sea. Kara had marked their locations on Marin's map, but she warned that retrieving them would be a very dangerous task. 